Steven Cureño, Kale Artist Sports. We're here with Memo Heredia. Uh, tell me, man, here it's still it's still a Pacquiao fight week. You know, it's not the fight we all thought we'd be here for. But uh, well, what did you first think when you heard El Spence uh, had the eye injury? Well, my my thought was obviously fast recovery. But it was it was kind of like you know, like a shock. Not because of you know injuries could happen anytime in sparring that's, and even in training. But it was shocking that he was so close to the fight and they had to. Um, you know, I thought the fight was gonna be collapsed, but you know, thank God Ugas was there and he came in and it, and he also was gonna fight on the same day. His opponent got hurt, so it was perfect timing for both. Well, what do you think? I hear a lot of critics and, and people saying that something's up with it. It seems suspicious. Uh, Bernard said that he had some suspicions. Uh, well, well, what do you take of, of that? And people I don't, that? I don't really, I don't really pay attention to opinions. Opinions sometimes they come with bias. And Bishop is a tremendous boxer, but he's a biased guy. He always, always throwing indirects here and there. And I mean, at the end of the day, if the doctor says in the report, I don't think any doctor is gonna risk his credentials or his license to lie in a report. Mauricio Suleiman came out and said that, yeah, for fact, they believe it because obviously they have to see all the report. And and, and, it, and it's, I believe it because I have I had fighters that one week before a fight, they get hurt either neck or cut or sometimes pain. So there's nothing you can do about it. Unfortunately, I mean, a lot of people wanted to watch this fight, but you know, it's okay, it's in the past. Maybe it'll happen later, but first, I can it needs to face uh, Ugas, which is not an easy fighter. Ugas could it, it can pull out upset on Saturday. People don't understand. Ugas is a, is a, is a long time fighter, he's smart, he's been fighting for many years. So it's not easy for money. People think it's gonna be an easy fight, but no. So I wanna say it's, it's a I good fight actually. I'm sorry? Actually it's a very good fight. Right. Yeah, no, it is a great fight. Ugas is not like Rigondal. Rigondal comes, gets set, ready, let's go, boom! <laughs> <laughs> For no, you know, this guy, my, my boy Uga, stay here and he throws, ah, he comes, ah, pa, pa, pa. He don't run, you're never gonna see him run, never gonna hit his back on the TV. So that's my boy, there's two guys I love, and, and that's that's my guys, that's Rigondal, I mean Rigondal, that, uh, 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 Ugas and uh, Gamboa. Those are the, man, they beautifully, technically wise, they come to fight and sometimes they, Dance are loose, but they come on, they come to fight. They come to really do what is called boxing. I know sometimes you have to move around and yeah, you have to be smart, but come on, there's ways to throw and move and there's ways just to run and run and throw one jab every minute. I mean, you understand? I, I completely understand. <laughs> so people, that's what people right now in their minds, people are not in boxing. They looking at the fight, what happened with Casimero and they thinking it's gonna be the same, but no, no, no. Completely different guys, Ugas comes to fight, he comes to bring the show. And he stays there and he comes to fight and obviously Senator knows how to fight too. Pac is gonna come to fight, it's always a guarantee show. Do, do you kind of get the sense that, you know, I mean, like like you said, this is a live dog, a lot of people don't know that, a lot of people don't realize that. If Manny Pacquiao were to lose this fight, do you think maybe Manny Pacquiao is retired, this is his last fight? I, 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 you know, he says that, but I really doubt it. He's a competitive guy. If he loses a fight, he might, he might want to come back and do a couple fights more, maybe a rematch. You never know, he's a competitive fight, but also at the same time, He's getting older, his, his mind is more set now into politics, he wants to be the president of his country, which is it's, it's a long journey and it takes a lot of time out of you. So I think uh, it could be a possibility, you never know with this guy, I mean he might say you know what let's do a couple more fights. If he wins on Saturday then obviously the fight with, uh, with Spence probably still alive and if he loses then there's, there's always somebody will find money and there's always a good show. Right. Uh, talk about your guy, uh, Customer got the win on Saturday. What's uh, what's next? Is, do you think you'll really get one of those next champions? What is that? I think yeah, it's Donero uh, and Uwe. Uh, if Nonero, Nonaire, or, you know, if he gets permission from his wife, right? If he does, I mean, then he should come and fight Casimiro. He has a signed contract. There's no excuses. No more lying. No more their, or their, or their, you know, ways to pull out of the fight. He has a, a signed contract, so it'll be perfect timing. But then, once again, he might say no. You know, he might want to go try to go with Inoue, but I don't think that could happen unless he fights Casimiro first. I like that fight for two reasons. Two Filipinos, they got uh, personal agendas, they got different goals. You know, one of them is started to be, uh, started to, to peak as a fighter. And Onito's a great fighter. He's always been a great fighter, one of my favorites, if you ask me. Regardless of our personal issues right now, he's one of the best. I, I, I always love his hooks, he's strong, comes to fight, his heart is amazing. So it'll be a good fight. I think, I think, 
at the time, I believe it was not the right time. I think this is it. If the fight happens in December, it'll be great. So I think uh, Casimiro's uh, manager, Sean Gibbons, told me that that's what they're looking for. It's up to uh, Nonito see if he wants it. Not, they go straight to Eno, obviously, waiting for Mr. Uh, Bob to decide if he wants to give us that. Because we also had a fight, and in the end it was canceled, postponed, and never happened. So but something's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, definitely not a rematch with Rigon now. Right? <laughs> not that? No? That's a, that's a definite no? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't no. want to sleep on it. Right. I love, I love Rigon now. my friend. But come on, Rigon. Why do you need to come to fight? Yeah, I didn't tell you. It's a boxing match. It's not a sprinting time. Oh <laughs> uh, man. Well, last one. Man, I want to get your take on uh, Canelo Plant. Seems like it's gonna happen possibly in November. Well, how does that fight play out? What do you think? I like Canelo. I like Plant too. Plant is a. Uh, I've been known. Kelo for a while is uh, he's a total a total great athlete. He, he's always disciplined. He's always training. He's managed well. He has a good team, and he has a desire to go and and, and, and try to put up set with Canelo. Canelo on the other hand, same thing. He's he's grown up so much like a fighter. He's gotten better. But obviously there's there's a few issues when it comes to negotiations that that to me or some people might they might believe that they're very unfair. But in this business, whoever makes the most money. Hey, this is if you want to find me, this is what I want. If you don't want to, then don't find me. At the end of the day, he's always going to have an opponent. So, but when it comes to results, I, I think it's going to be a good fight because Caleb knows how to box on the outside. He doesn't, so I don't think he will have the strength. I, I mean, Canelo hits very hard. I don't know what's going to be the what's going to be the, the the limited on the pounds after making weight. That'll be important because if he comes and says it's only 10 pounds and, and Caleb is already a natural heavy fighter. Or, I mean, you know what I mean? It could be against it because then you cannot go more than 10 pounds and Canelo is already a natural on his weight. You know, he's strong. And that sometimes takes a punish it, uh, punishment on the fight for the lighter fighter. When, because they don't, they don't get to rehydrate correctly. They don't get to, to recover well. Because, you know, people don't realize it's not 24 hours. It's more than 24 hours before make, making weight and finite. It's around 30 something hours. So, but I like Caleb, good boxer. Canelo, I like him too, but it's gonna be a, a good fight. But I think Canelo is gonna pull, pull the win. The, they're also, because it's all the belts, I wanna say, I don't know if the IBF still has it, but it's like a 10%. But I think that might be when you're only fighting for the IBF belt. If it's like a unification, then oh, for the, for but the it's weight, like 10% of, right? of the total weight, right? So that's yeah, I kind of already so. in there, I, yeah. I really do not much into that. But, you know, frankly, between you and me, I stopped following belts because, you know, there's so many belts up there. I mean, you got no idea. I mean, the, the silver, the Aztec, all the, 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 the franchise champion. Next time you're going to be a Visa car, Visa champion. I mean, I mean, shit, I'm just doing my work. You know, I, I respect their business, but I mean, I get confused. So I, I, really, I, I know you. IBF is good. They, they do that way. They got they got a very, um, very, very strong rules. And I think it, maybe that way. Maybe that way. Let's see what, what they come out with the contract, which they're not going to tell us. Right. They keep the contract and then they keep the secret contract on their side. Right. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Thank you so much, Memo. I appreciate your time. I tell Thank the fans you. where they can follow you and see what you got going on. You can follow me on Instagram, Angel Memo Heredia, Science Guru. Appreciate you, Angel. Thank Bye. you.